How you doing, killer? Arms tired from all that digging? You know, my strong room is surprisingly empty now. So, you know. Who told you? I'm the mayor of this town. Who wouldn't tell me? I had a line leading right out my front door. No one steals from me. But I gotta admit, you and Bobby pulled one hell of a job. Almost makes me wish I had done it myself. Now, if it was just the money, I'd rough you up, break a few bones, and then we'd be square once you paid me back. But you killed Fahrenheit. That means blood for blood. Fortunately for you, I'm short on muscle, and Bobby was the brains. You track her down, put a knife in her, and get back my, let's say, thousand caps, and we'll pretend this was all a misunderstanding. I'll take care of it. That was the right answer. Bobby's smart, but not half as smart as she thinks she is. She's been having all her new tidings of wealth shipped to a building in South Boston. That's where you'll be heading. Now go. Makes a ghoul a bit nervous, though, you showing up here unannounced. So who hired you to track me down? It was Hancock, wasn't it? That job really pissed him off. He wants me to take you out. Is that so? And what exactly are you planning to do about it? What would you do in a situation like this? Me? Well, I tried hiring someone with my newfound wealth to put a bullet in that tricorn-wearing clown. But every guy I spoke with was either on his take or just laughed in my face. At this point, though, all I want to know is what you're planning to do. Make your peace, Bobby. I'm taking those caps back. <laughs> You're gonna try. Dumb move, kid. parameters. We shouldn't a coroner be doing that instead? Okay, hon. Just say it right into the little box here. This is a recording of the Ladies' Watch Axel... Axel Larry... Uh, of Boston. Say your name, precious. Jenny! Nice. Okay, sweetheart. And what are we doing tonight? Spying on Uncle Jake. <laughs> no, honey. The other thing. Oh, right. We're catching bad guys. Aunt Becca, is Uncle Jake a bad guy? Only when he's had too much juice, Princess. Now grab your coat. We're heading out.
Sweet. In case you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear here in Good Neighbor. And that Travis, man, he got good. Heard what you did. Saved that Rex Goodman from the super mutants. Yes, not everyone appreciates the Bard. Am I right? Hey, Hancock. Well, hey there, Trouble. You got something to say to me? I dealt with Bobby. Job's done, huh? Good. Now, let's talk about my caps. You are on the hook for a grand. Look, Bobby left behind a whole bunch of stuff. Just saw that. Ah, look at you scrambling around. You're off the hook. Ain't like I need the money. This thing with Bobby had to be done, but damn, look at me. Have I turned into the man? Putting down people's freedom to do what comes natural? I gotta take a walk. Get back in touch with my fellow lowlifes. That's why I've decided I'm coming with you. Hitting my strong room proves you've got that devil take me attitude I need to reconnect with. Why would you want to come with me when I helped kill your bodyguard? Hell, I kill all kinds of people and shake hands with their friends afterwards. You know how many boys used to have old Finn's back? Now don't get me wrong. Fahrenheit and me had history. And if this was a personal hit, killing you would be priority number one. But I know you were just trying to get a job done. I can respect that. Now, why would you want to leave Good Neighbor? For one, you pulled a job on me. That means I'm getting too comfortable. Need to get out there and hone the razor. For two, Good Neighbor is about doing your own thing. If I don't leave every once in a while, the power's gonna change me. I can't have that. Glad to have you with me. Before we head out, I gotta have a little chat with the community. I'll meet ya afterwards. Hey, everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. No rush, everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey, I'm always gonna be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free? With no judgment. Good neighbor! Good neighbor. Of, of the, the people! people. Oh, for the people. the people! And don't let no one forget it. Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Are you still interested in traveling together? I think I could do with some more trouble in my life. Let's do it. Done. You are such a fascinating specimen, Monsieur Hancock. <laughs>